We are overclocking the Ryzen Threadripper 7960X all the way up to 5715 MHz in 5 minutes or less using the Gigabyte TRX50 Aero D motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speedrun you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this CPU, have a look at the longer scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, stay in easy mode. Set XMP Expo Profile to Expo 1. That makes the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 6400 and associated memory timings. Enable XMP Expo High Bandwidth Support and Low Latency Support. These parameters further optimize the system memory performance. Switch to Advanced Mode. Set System Memory Multiplier to 66. This will increase the system memory to DDR5-6600 while retaining the Expo memory timings and voltages. Set Infinity Fabric Frequency and Dividers to 2200 MHz. This increases the performance of the Infinity Fabric, which connects the various chiplets on our chip package. Set UClock Div 1 mode to UClock equals MemClock. This forces the memory controller to operate at the same frequency as the system memory. Since we're running DDR5-6600, the memory controller frequency will be 3300 MHz. Switch to the settings menu. Enter the AMD overclocking submenu. This will provide us with all the advanced AMD CPU overclocking tools. Click Accept. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 toolkit to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 Boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters, PPT, TDC and EDC according to the motherboard order rules. Set CPU Boost Clock Override to Enabled Positive. That unlocks the ability to increase the CPU's programmed if max or maximum frequency up to 200 MHz in steps of 25 MHz. Note that the standard if max for CCD0 is 5650 MHz and only 5350 MHz for CCD1 to 3. Set max CPU boost clock override to 200. This increases each CCD's F max by 200 MHz. This also changes the C state boost limit frequency from 4800 MHz to 5000 MHz when 8 or more cores are active. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to fine tune the VF curve for each core in a positive or negative direction. On Ryzen Threadripper 7000, we can set the Curve Optimizer for the whole CPU, per CCD and per core. Set Curve Optimizer to Per Core. Set Core 0 to Core 23 Curve Optimizer sign to negative. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Note that the Curve Optimizer settings are highly CPU specific, so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than just copying mine. I set the Curve Optimizer magnitude for each core according to my own test result. Set Core 0 to 3 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 5. Set Core 4 and 5 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 10. Set Core 6 to 23 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 50. Then save and exit the BIOS. We reran some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and checked the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark results are higher. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5715 MHz. When running the OCCT CPU SSE stability test, the average CPU core effective clock is 4,971 MHz with 1.323 volts. The average CPU temperature is 90.70 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 353.9 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the patrons for the support and see you next time.